पांच मिनट का धन्यवाद धन्यवाद मानी हर्षवर्धन सिंह डूंगरपुर वाइस चेयरमैन सर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जल शक्ति मिनिस्ट्री सर द नीड वाज फेल्ट टू एड्रेस द इश्यूज रिलेटेड रिलेटिंग टू वाटर इन अ होलिस्टिक मैनर सर सर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति वाज फॉर्म by integrating our earth file ministry of water resources river development development and ganga rejuvenation and ministry of drinking water and sanitation transfer of national river conservation directorate from the ministry of environment and forest and climate change for, of which i am also a member to the department of water resources development river development and ganga rejuvenation so one department was transferred from the ministry of environment and forest to the water uh, resources ministry sir this ministry is very important for india and also the it's the main focus of our honorable prime minister to provide tap water to every household sir sir just like uh, he had mainly focused on providing electricity gas प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना और प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना दिस इज नाउ द मेन फोकस ऑफ ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द फ्यूचर इयर्स टू कम सर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन सर इट हैज मेनली टू टू आस्पेक्ट्स वन इज द जल जीवन मिशन एंड वन इज द स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण फॉर सैनिटेशन विच आई टॉक इन डिटेल लेटर सर सर द the recent policy initiatives of this ministry have been also to converse or to interact with states so it is like a state and center partnership so the ministry of jal shakti issued an advisory to state governments to ensure availability of safe potable water for all citizens during the lockdown sir so the water resources management policy there are some key features to this policy one is enhancement water for use for available use water harvesting which is very important and should be made compulsory for all the households today demand management water pricing target versus achievements irrigation uh, flood management conservation and rejuvenation of rivers and another part important part of this ministry is interstate river water disputes sir the interstate river water disputes amendment bill 2019 was introduced in lok sabha disputes uh, this contained mainly of disputes resolution committee under the bill when a state puts in a request regarding any water dispute the central government will set up a disputes resolution committee to resolve the disputes sir also secondly tribunal the central government will set up a interstate river water dispute tribunal for the education of water disputes the tribunal can have multiple benches so another important feature is time frame under the act the tribunal must give its decision within 3 years which may be extended by 2 years so so this is a very important part and there are a lot of uh, uh, river water disputes between states especially in the south so another important feature of this ministry is groundwater contamination which is the big issue in india so looking at the geogenic contaminants so there are many four uh, contamin contaminants one is arsenic fluoride nitrate and iron sir so arsenic is uh, 21 states are affected and 152 districts are affected in india this is the report of 2020 fluoride 23 states and 370 districts i come from south rajasthan and dungopur my area has also got a lot of fluoride contamination the other thing is nitrate 23 states and 423 districts and iron 27 states and 341 districts so the 15th finance commission noted that the number of uh, water quality affected habitations may increase as deeper drilling of drinking water sources may lead to chemical contamination of ground water sir so another important feature is the swachh bharat mission gramin and the construction of individual household toilets the cost of construction has been increased from 10000 to 12000 and 
Now, the government is mainly focusing on declaring ODF villages as ODF plus. So ODF plus village is a village which sustains its open defecation free status. Sir, so the main features, who can declare an ODF plus village? All households in the village which have access to functional toilet facility, all schools, Anganwadi centers, panchayat ghars, the village that have access to a functional toilet and separate toilet for male and female, all public places in villages are observed to have minimal litter, minimal stagnant wastewater, and no plastic waste dump. This is an important feature, sir. So at least 80% households and all schools, Anganwadis, panchayat ghars have arrangements for managing liquid waste. Village should have a plastic segregation and collection system. So these are the, some of the main features of an ODF uh, plus village, sir. So another important mission or important feature of the ministry is Jal Jeevan mission. Jal Jeevan mission means Har Ghar Jal. Functional household tap connection for every rural home. To improve lives of people in rural areas, enhance the ease of living, Jal Jeevan mission was announced by Honorable Prime Minister on 15th August 2019 to be implemented in partnership with states uh, to provide tap water. The total estimate outlaw is 3.6 lakh crore, sir. So under the Jal Jeevan mission, the aim is to ensure that every family, irrespective of its socio-economic condition, has piped water supply to their home. Principle is no one should be left out. Now that's a very important feature, sir. No one should be left out. The poorest of poor, weaker and marginalized sections of society should get this. So the, uh, uh, under the JJM, the focus is on service delivery rather than meter water supply for long time water security and assured water supply to every home, every village is to prepare a village action plan, which is known as VAP, sir. So when the scheme was announced, 3.323 crore families in villages uh, had tap water, that is 17% of the population of India, sir. So in the last 18 months, 2.70 crore more families have been added to tap water bringing the total to 5.90 crore and 31% of the population of India, sir. Portable water supply, quality affected habitation is a top priority under Jal Jeevan mission. And uh, so another important thing is, it is well known that children are affected by, by uh, Jal Jeevan mission, sir. So it, it should be taken care of to provide clean drinking water because it affects the children also. And sir, lastly, sir, I would like to conclude that the objectives, um, uh, the, also there's an important feature regarding the rivers, Ganga rejuvenation, development of ghats, and also uh, we have some important things on the, uh, regarding the Ganga. One is the Faraka Baraj project, sir, and uh, dam rehabilitation program, Namami Ganga, including Ganga plan, river conservation plan, which a lot of the uh, speakers before me have spoken, sir. Sir, I'm concluding now. Sir, the whole approach of this ministry is bottoms up, sir. So it's a bottoms up approach, and every village, every house must get its uh, tap water. Sir, there are some issues related, related to this uh, water sector issues. Over exploitation of groundwater, declining water uh, tables in most parts of India, suboptimal water use of efficiency, impact of climate change on rainfall. So another important feature is that the end, end uh, destination of every sewage, uh, liquid sewage, or the solid waste, we have to improve that and need to set up sewage treatment plants in all villages. So I conclude that the Honorable Mr. Gajan Singh Shekhawat has a very important mission on his hands, and he sh I am sure that he will complete the work mission very efficiently. I end by a message from our Prime Minister to all the doubting Thomases uh, who has uh, on, on the various sides who have spoken. Um, I quote him, by now the question is, whatever we have achieved, is that enough? The answer is simple and clear, sir. We have achieved is just one stage, only one level. Our journey towards clean India 
continues. Dhaniwa. Dhaniwa. And I congratulate him for that, sir. Thank you very much.